it's time to raise Social Security payments across the board and disability payments, both. And this is what I've got a plan for. Raise Social Security payments $200 a month. Raise disability payments $200 a month. We can do this by asking those at the very top to pay a little more. We can do this and extend the financial longevity of Social Security for decades to come. The way I see this is after a lifetime of hard work, people are entitled to retire with a little dignity, and that means protecting and expanding Social Security. It means protecting and expanding disability. Hey, it's Andrew here. Welcome back to my channel where we talk about Social Security changes, the next two stimulus packages, and daily news updates as well. The country is heading in the direction where monthly stimulus payments is becoming the new norm and Biden just announced payment dates for families and this makes us think that they might be open to approving monthly stimulus payments for social security benefits as well but before we get into it don't forget to like this video and subscribe I also have a second channel so if you could do me a huge favor click the link that's in the description of this video go ahead and subscribe to my second channel it really goes a long way in supporting my work now before we get into monthly stimulus payments payment dates for that child tax credit and the potential for a $200 per month stimulus boost for social security I quickly want to talk about Medicare expansion now Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren along with over a dozen other senators are fighting for President Biden to expand Medicare coverage now they want to include hearing dental and vision care as well as lower the eligibility age to as low as 50 and they wrote in their letter directly to President Biden Lowering the eligibility age for Medicare would help millions of Americans significantly. 27% of adults aged 50 to 64 are not confident that they can afford health insurance over the next year. And more than a quarter report issues with navigating health insurance options, coverage decisions, and how their choices will affect their out-of-pocket costs. Researchers have found that there is a massive spike in the diagnosis of cancer among Americans who reached the age of 65 who could have been diagnosed much sooner if Medicare eligibility had been lowered. Essentially, expanding Medicare will save tens of thousands of lives. Lowering the Medicare eligibility to age 60 could expand Medicare to cover over 23 million more people, including nearly 2 million people who are currently uninsured while lowering it to 55 would give over 42 million people access to the program, and lowering it to 50 could cover 63 million more Americans. Lowering the Medicare eligibility age is not only the right thing to do from a public policy perspective, it is also what the overwhelming majority of Americans supports. According to a recent Gallup poll, 65% of Americans support lowering the Medicare eligibility age. Now, let me know your thoughts in the comments in regards to expanding Medicare. Now, a lot of people on my channel took retirement early. They're 62 years old, 63 years old. They qualify for Social Security, but they still do not qualify for Medicare benefits. This would go a long way in providing a safe and secure retirement for those who want to retire a little bit early. I think it's a great idea. Not only that, but there are millions of people who are uninsured and simply cannot afford the insurance. So this would go a long way in providing quality care for our seniors. So hopefully that will make it into the next stimulus package as well. Now, currently, President Biden just announced that the monthly child tax credit will begin sending out payments on July 15th and go out every single month until the end of the year. Now, I know a lot of you don't have kids, but I just want to point out that this is setting a really, really good precedence and is putting us in a position where monthly stimulus payments are going to become the norm. So with Democrats like Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren fighting for monthly Social Security stimulus, this kind of bodes well for Social Security because if you could spend trillions of dollars on families, you should be able to do the same thing for those who are on Social Security benefits as well. And guys, let me know in the comments if you agree. Now, as far as the child tax credit, I'm sure at this point you know it's going to be either $250 or $300 per month. It's going to pay out from July until December. 
and then the first six months of the year will be paid out retroactively when you file your taxes next year. Now, some Democrats argue that they could do the same thing with the Social Security stimulus. So if anything, this child tax credit could almost be a blueprint for Social Security, and they could do the exact same thing to approve that $200 per month stimulus boost. Now, we have Democrats like Elizabeth Warren, Bernie Sanders, and even Chuck Schumer, who is now the Senate Majority Leader, fighting for that monthly boost, I'm actually going to cover Elizabeth Warren's plan and exactly how she plans to pay for it. But first, let's watch a quick announcement from President Biden. He just gave a quick announcement on that monthly child tax credit stimulus and the fact that he is doing this to try and end childhood poverty. So this kind of lines up with senior poverty as well. We have a lot of Democrats saying that we need to end senior poverty as well. So if we're prioritizing child poverty, we need to prioritize senior poverty at the same time. So guys, let's take a quick look, see what President Biden had to say. Then we'll compare it to that monthly stimulus boost for Social Security and talk about Elizabeth Warren's plan as to exactly how she plans to make this happen. As everyone knows, I firmly believe, we firmly believe, the need to make our tax system work for the middle class. That's why I think we should ask corporations in the top 1% to start paying their fair share and why we should crack down on millionaires and billionaires who escape taxes by cheating. But I also think we need to give ordinary families a break, a tax break, to help them with the cost of raising their kids. Most people don't know it, but for families with children, we, uh, we put that tax cut into the American Rescue Plan, which was signed not long ago. And I signed the tax cut into law in March. 90% of the families, all middle class, working class families, will get this tax cut. It's a one year cut that reduces your taxes by $3,000 a year for each child you have under the age of 18. Two kids, it's a $6,000 tax cut. And if those kids are under the age of six, they'll actually get $3,600 per child. So, as you file your taxes a day, know that your tax cut is coming. There's, but this, here's the great news. You won't have to wait until your next year's tax return to get that break. I'm announcing today that on July 15th and the 15th of every month thereafter throughout the year, you will get deposited in your bank account half of your tax cut at least, $250 per child each month a direct deposit into your account. So if you're a working family with two kids, you're going to get $500 a month into your bank account on the 15th of every month starting July. We're getting, uh, and, and we are getting you uh, a tax cut this year now when you need it and not have to wait. And if you get your tax cut refund deposited in your bank account automatically, this tax cut will be put into your account automatically. If not, it will be mailed to you. In addition to helping Americans hard-pressed and working families, experts have told us this will cut child poverty in America in half. This tax cut sends a clear and powerful message to American workies, working families with children. Help is here. So just imagine replacing the words child tax credit with senior tax credit with the same philosophy to end poverty, to end elderly poverty and senior poverty just like we're trying to end child poverty as well now elizabeth warren she's actually been pushing for this monthly boost since even before the pandemic if you guys remember back when she was running for president she proposed this 200 dollars per month increase even before the pandemic she wanted to increase benefits across the board whether you're the lowest income or the highest income she wanted to give everybody on social security a 200 dollars per month stimulus boost and similar to bernie sanders and president biden she plans to pay for this by taxing the rich now her plan would make this permanent currently the plan that's being more discussed is a temporary boost until the pandemic is over which most experts agree think it might be either December of 2021 or the summer of 2022. So this boost could last at this point anywhere between six months to a year. And we're hoping it would just be a bridge, right? Because Democrats continue to promise that they will actually increase Social Security benefits permanently with a larger COLA increase, increasing benefits across the board. At the same time, we expect a COLA increase in 2022 to be about 4.5%, the way things stand today. 
So currently we do have a lot of good news when it comes to social security benefits. Now we're in a situation where monthly stimulus payments for families will become the norm, making it that much easier to argue for monthly stimulus benefits for seniors as well. And guys, it's hard to argue against seniors. I mean, if you've paid into the tax system your entire life, now you're retired, I think you deserve to live in dignity. And guys, let me know in the comments if you agree. But we should have a lot of updates with Biden still planning to approve two more stimulus packages this year. We might have social security changes included in those packages. So don't forget to subscribe. I will keep you updated. We also have Democrats like Elizabeth Warren fighting for a $200 per month stimulus boost for everyone who's on social security benefits, as well as Bernie Sanders fighting to expand Medicare in this next stimulus package as well. So a lot of updates will be coming in the next few weeks. Don't forget to subscribe. And guys, if you made it this far into my video, thank you so much for supporting my work. It truly means the world and I truly do appreciate every single view. So with that said, until the next video, take care and have a great day. The way I see this is after a lifetime of hard work, people are entitled to retire with a little dignity and that means protecting and expanding social security. It means protecting and expanding disability. But how much is $200 extra a month work? It's not perfect, it doesn't fix everything, but understand $200 a month would lift about four and a half million people out of poverty. It would sure ease up the budgets for, ten, uh, for millions more.